South Florida neighborhoods are bracing for king tides. Uh, the search uh, season rather of the flooding begins tomorrow and right now the Army Corps of Engineers is trying to figure out the best way to block sea level rise in coastal communities. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is telling us about this new protection plan. Right now various local stakeholders are fighting to keep this view. The Corps of Engineers has a mission to look at long term risk reduction along our coastlines. The Army Corps of Engineers is studying how to fortify Miami-Dade County's coastline from the reality of rising seas and as part of a more than $4 billion plan has proposed a flood wall running parallel to Miami's waterfront. This is Miami Downtown Development Authority's visual representation of what that could look like. There's a huge detrimental economic and environmental impact to downtown. An ominous eyesore threatening property values, quality of life, the tourism industry and the environment, says Miami DDA's Neil Schaefers. This is a tremendous opportunity to try and mitigate issues like a uh, coastal storm surge and sea level rise. So we don't want to miss out on that opportunity. They just don't want to see this which is why the DDA has also created these renderings showing alternative nature based solutions like living shorelines. The city of Miami also passing a related resolution sponsored by Commissioner Manolo Reyes. There's a replica of the Berlin Wall that they want to build around Biscayne Boulevard at Brickell Avenue that, uh, I mean, it will not be acceptable. We're working on how to address those concerns. The point that we are in the study is really to determine what the best path forward is. Holly Carpenter and Susan Layton of the Army Corps of Engineers District overseeing the project say they are reviewing public comments, but add the natural and nature based features even if we could suggest many of those, they cannot provide the same uh, level of coastal protection that uh, a wall and storm surge barriers are. This certainly is not the end of the conversation. In fact, that study is still ongoing. After that, it would actually require congressional approval. We have so much more on this project right now on local10.com. In Miami, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.